Hey lovelies, I'm Christina Maria and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome and thank you for joining in. On my channel, I like to talk about all things super girly and super feminine, including fashion, hair, makeup, fragrance, and how you can become or start harnessing your own feminine energy. So if that is something that you are interested in, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you can stay up to date with all my latest and greatest content. So today, I am doing an unboxing, an honest review of a new fragrance that I just received. It was actually gifted to me by, you know, someone kind of special. <laughs> so this scent is Hedonist by Victoria Minya. So Victoria Minion is a Hungarian perfumer who studied in France, in Paris, with some of the best perfumers in the world. And this is from her very first release, and this is called Hedonist. So this is the box, all right? It is this very beautiful matte black box. That is a really good quality with her logo here. And this is made in France and it does have the ingredients listed on the back. So it's this nice um, matte black box that it comes in. And then you open it up and inside of the box is another box. <laughs> But look at this, this is a beautiful, I guess it's like a crocodile pattern. All right, this one has a little bit more shine to it. Faux leather, or as they call it, vegan leather. All right, with her emblem here. It's a really nice, beautiful box. And then on the side, there is a little sticker here with the name uh, Hedonist by Victoria Minya. So take the sticker off. I actually have been kind of saving that. And then look at this. Okay, so this is like the epitome of luxury. Victoria Minya is a niche fragrance perfumer. So for me, as I've kind of talked to you guys about before, I'm really beginning to like value and appreciate the niche fragrance companies. Okay, these designer perfumes, your Gucci's, your Dior's, even your Chanel's, they smell delicious. I love them. But with these niche fragrance companies, oh my gosh, like they can take so much more um, liberties when it comes to experimenting with different scents and different perfumes and different auras that they're trying to create because they're not catering to the masses, right? There is a niche, there is a small group of people that they're really trying to cater to so they can take some really good liberties. And this one oh, is no exception. This is actually a niche luxury brand. So presentation, like A plus, you open the box and it's like, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, this beautiful, like satin kind of lining that the perfume just sits in just so beautifully. All right, I'm just even opening the box. I can smell the perfume already. So hedonist, what it's written on the inside. A powerful and provocative perfume for a woman who dares to be true to her desires. Lush jasmine and orange blossom absolute flirt with the dark intensity of rum and tobacco notes for a scent that is as captivating as it is unforgettable. And that is like so true. So keep in mind, this is my totally unsponsored, honest, unbiased review. Like I am not affiliated. I'm not getting any kind of like paybacks or anything. I just want to share this with you guys. Okay. Look at how beautiful this is. How gorgeous is this? And then take it out. Oh, this is the bottle. It has the name of the perfume here. All right. And it's this beautiful, like this bottle is heavy. This beautiful bottle. The name is etched actually. This is not 
like any kind of like sticker or anything. This is etched in there. But you can almost see like this diamond kind of pattern here in the glass. And then it's filled with these beautiful crystals on the inside. And these are real crystals. Like if you go on the website, these are real deal crystals that are in here in the bottle. So the presentation, I mean, this is money like well spent. The cap, all right, that's the cap, all right. And then that is, ah, let's look at the mist. is so good this is a gourmand scent I, I would definitely put this in the gourmand like it is very sweet it almost has this kind of like edible quality to it so your top notes um, are peach rum and bergamot so think of like this very peachy boozy i don't know peach schnapps i would say but like very classy good. Your middle notes are osmanthus, tobacco, jasmine, and orange blossom. And then your base notes are vanilla, cedar, and vetiver. So this fragrance comes off as being very fruity with the peach. It is sweet. Like I've, I've read some other reviews um, and a lot of other people, you know, other reviewers have said that this has like almost like a honey smell to it. And I do get the hint of honey. Um, it's not listed as one of the notes, but smelling it off the back, like it does have this very like peach. So what I envision is like this beautiful peach with just honey kind of like dripping down over it. And it's just this very sweet. But then shortly after you get the rum and you get the tobacco. So it adds to this very woody, creamy kind of overall smell to it. So I had never smelled osmanthus, which is one of the middle notes. So the middle notes, osmanthus, tobacco, jasmine, and orange blossom. So I wanted to know what osmanthus smells like. So this is, you know, went to Google. This is what it says. It says, what does the osmanthus flower smell like? And it says that you may well have smelled osmanthus in a fragrance without realizing. This creamy white blossom gives a surprisingly mouth-watering succulent hints of peach and plum and apricot nuances to perfumes. And that is exactly what this fragrance is. It is mouth watering. Like when you first spray it on, it is incredibly sweet. All right. You're definitely getting this peach and um, like honey. Like a lot of people were saying that it gave off these very like honey, notes to it but honey is not listed in the uh the notes on the website but it, it has this very sweet mouth-watering quality to it so when you first spray it you get the peach like right off the back it is fruity it is sweet um, and then it follows up with this rum so i'm just imagining like this succulent mouth-watering like peach cobbler where you have the peaches and they're sweetened and brown with brown sugar and you pour like some rum over it oh and it's just delicious like this fragrance right here oh my gosh i have gotten so many compliments on it it is a beautiful scent all right it comes off very strong with the initial sprays it's strong all right but quickly those top notes dry down all right and then you get the osmanthus you get the tobacco which adds almost a smoky quality to it but not overly done like this is a beautifully balanced perfume okay you get the the jasmine the orange blossom and then after those middle notes it dries down to this earthy woody with the cedar and the vetiver and then just the kind of adding that little hint of cream with the vanilla um, and some of the reviews that i've also read online a lot of people were saying that it's in the first phrase it is extremely like indulgent that was the word a lot of people were using that it's it's strong and indulgent and for me isn't that what being a hedonist 
is. Like when you think of hedonism, you know, you think of a hedonist, there's someone who, you know, believes in indulging in pleasure, all right? So I think the name hedonist is perfectly aligned with this perfume. It is indulgent. It is extremely strong. Okay, and with the with the rum, with the tobacco, you get those, you know, kind of like those, hmm, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Indulgent qualities, vices, vices. That's what I'll go with, yeah. Yeah, so you get the rum, you get the tobacco, and they blend together, but it's not overly done. So I can imagine like, you know, kind of being cuddled up, being nuzzled together with your significant other. And this fragrance, you know, kind of just capturing or captivating whomever it is that you're with, like sitting in this like very lounge, jazz bar, jazz club. It's a little smoky, the bourbon, the drinks are flowing and you're sitting there and listening to this beautiful, like smooth jazz and you're just cuddled and just nuzzled up with your, your partner, your significant other, your spouse, your husband, who Ever. This is that fragrance. This fragrance is perfect for date night. It is a compliment getter. It is sweet. It is a gourmand. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is like hands down right now in my collection. Like my favorite scent. And this is like I said, totally like unsponsored. This is my honest review. I really like this scent i mean from everything like from the opening box to the box itself i mean just opening it imagine just opening this up like oh, this is beautiful the presentation the scent itself the beautiful crystals inside of the bottle for me this is a 10 out of 10. i am in love with this fragrance i know that when i've run out of this bottle I am definitely buying another one, okay? I am in love with this. It's captivating, it's indulgent, it is sweet, but not overly sweet. You don't need a lot of sprays. Um, I think for me, I think four is enough, so two around here. All right, and then I do one on each wrist, and throughout the day, I smell my wrist, and it smells so good. And then by the time it all warms down, it's this beautiful, creamy, woody, just delicious scent. So, Hedonist by Victoria Minya. I highly recommend. I give it 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 sprays, we'll say. <laughs> this is a must have for any perfume collector. When I am finished with this bottle. I am definitely buying myself, or hopefully, you know, I'll be gifted <laughs> another bottle of this. This is a beautifully balanced, perfectly sweet, smoky, but boozy. Just, I love everything about this. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know, go ahead and comment down below. What is like one of your favorite like niche fragrances that are out there? I would love to try some new ones. I'm kind of getting a little, uh, you know, I want to start really kind of branching out into more of the niche fragrances. So what is your favorite niche fragrance that you have in your collection? So go ahead, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and go ahead, help me out with the YouTube algorithm. So subscribe and don't forget you can also share this video and hit that bell notification. So with that, I hope you guys have a great day. Until next time, bye.